for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of g plus 5 small apartment building structure which is consisting of 10 flats in terrain category 4 by using etap software okay so this respected building i am considering in zone 5 seismic condition case okay so basically terrain category concepts are explained in my uh, blog civilbasics123.com for more information regarding the terrain category definition as well as the types of terrain category you can watch that uh, blog civilbasics123 for the complete details okay so here i'm opening this so this is the uh, terrain category definition as well as this uh, types of terrain categories and examples which is comes under the terrain 1 2 3 4 okay so firstly terrain category was divided into four categories which is comes under the terrain category 1 terrain category 2 terrain category 3 as well as the terrain category 4 okay so the windy terrain category 1 will be comes under if the height of the obstacle or hill region near to our building which is having uh, less than 1.5 meter height okay so basically if you construct any one of the building structure which is comes under the open space we will call it as uh, terrain category 1 and terrain category 2 will be comes under 1.5 meter to 10 meter height obstacle which is placed at uh, normal distance okay this is comes under terrain category 2 okay so terrain category 3 will be comes under the uh, height of the obstacle buildings which is having uh, up to 10 meter uh, which uh, which is consisting of closely spaced objects again the terrain category 4 will be comes under the greater than 10 meter height building structures and again uh, closely spaced objects this is comes under terrain category 4 okay so in this video i will explain you how to design the building in terrain category 4 by using etap software okay so here i was already done the modeling process for the respected building structure by using etap software and i was applied the load cases which is comes under the uh, lateral loading condition systems as well as the, the gravity loading condition system so initially i will show you the details so click on the define option material property for this building i was consider m40 grade concrete provision and hysd bars of 500 grade steel again in the same process i am i was consider the frame section dimensions which is consisting of the beams of 0 0.23 cross 0 0.46 and columns of 0 0.23 cross 0 0.69 in the same process i was taking the slab thickness which is approximately equal to 150 mm okay so here in this case i am taking the uh, load cases which is comes under the dead loading condition live loading condition seismic loading condition as well as the wind loading condition the terrain category will be purely related to the wind loading condition system only so that's why just i will show you the only the load uh, factors which is comes under the wind loading so here i am selecting wind loading x click on modify option so now we can see here in this case I was taken the wind speed is 44 which is comes under the terrain category 4 so which is also consisting of 1 2 3 4 if you are uh, familiar with these respected points and if you are uh, having any kind of the idea regarding this you can select any one of those respected terrain category which is uh, comes under your respected uh, specifications of the site okay so here i was taking the x direction condition again in the same process wind y direction is also comes under terrain category 4 okay so after applying all the load cases we need to uh, add the load combination for the structure okay so here in this case this is a, a small apartment building structure which is of five uh, six floors which is consisting of flat one flat two flat three okay so this is the staircases this is the lift provision for this respected apartment structure okay so uh, in now i will add the load combination for that go to click on define option load combinations option click on add design combination concrete frame design click on ok so that it will add the load combinations here like this click on ok option again we have to click on ok option now we have to analyze the structure for that go to analyze option check models option initially we need to check for the joint check results so if you have any uh, errors is there then it will show you the error message otherwise it will show you the no warning message for the building structure here like this okay so go to analyze option again again set load cases to run option here select your respect load cases click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the building structure which is comes under the terrain category 4 then after that i will show you the deflection diagram shear diagram bending moment diagram uh, for the g plus 5 building structural model 
Now we can see here, this is the deflection diagram for the building structure due to presence of the various types of the load cases. So if you want to display the shear force diagram, click on the display option, uh, forces uh, stress spandrilla force diagram here, click on this option, select the shear to toe option, click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram for the building structure. So again the same process, you can select the moment 3, 3, click on apply so that it will display the bending moment diagram for the building structure. Again in the same process, you can click on the torsion, click on apply so that it will display the torsion diagram for the building structure okay so after that we have to uh, design this particular structure which is comes under the small g plus 5 building which is comes under the terrain category 4 as per is 875 part uh, 2015 part 3 code so before that we need to uh, uh, add the strip condition system for the slab for that just i'm unlocking the model here click on ok so go to click on the edit option on the top so click on this particular option click on add edit grid strip click on add edit grid so here i'm selecting the story number six which is consisting of grid direction is x with strip layer is a click on apply so that it will apply the strip condition system for the sixth floor again in the same process i'm selecting the grid section which is comes under the y direction with layer is b click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the x direction y direction for the sixth story in the same process i am applying the uh, grid uh, sections which is fifth story uh, fourth story third story second story as well as the first story now you can see here all the grids are applied for this respected building structure then after that we have to click on the ok option so after that we have to reanalyze the structure which is uh, with the considerations of the grid sections which is uh, exist at the sixth fifth floor fourth third second first floor for the building structure so for that go to click on the uh, run analysis option in the top click on the run analysis here so that it will do the analysis process again with the considerations of the grids now you can see this is the deflection diagram now we have to design the structure go to click on the design option on the top select the concrete frame design view revised preferences select is 456 2000 click on ok then after that we have to click on the design option concrete frame design so click on the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respected frame section which is comes under the beams and columns for the building structure now you can see here it was done with the designing process of the frame section now we have to design the slab click on the slab design view revised preferences select is 456 2000 click on ok again in the same process we have to click on the uh, selection of the stories here just i'm selecting sixth to first here click on ok option just i'm selecting design option select the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the respective slab now it was done with the designing section for the respective slab now we have to save this particular model by using ctrl s option so we have to close this uh, etap software we have to do the detailing process in CSI detailing version. Just I am opening my CSI detailing version 18 version. So firstly we have to import the model from the ETAP software to CSI detailing version software. Then we can able to see the results. For that we have to click on the file option on the top. New detailing option here. Just I am selecting the desktop. G plus 5 structure. General building structural model. The initially the model will be open in ETAP software then after that it will import the data to CSI detailing version. Now the data is imported to CSI detailing version software. So click on OK option. So here initially we need to select some of the inputs. So for that firstly we have to select the detailing units. Select as per the uh, metric system which is of SI system and select the force units will be in kilonewton and millimeter length will be meter. So select the rebar weight will be in turn option, click on OK option. So select the preferences option. In this case, we need to select the IS456-2000 codal provision standard, click on OK. Select the rebar rules option. So firstly, I am selecting the minimum spacing option for this respective structure is 120 and 450 for the uh, slab section. Again, I am selecting 120, 120, 120 for the beam. So again, I am selecting maximum spacing will be comes under 450. This is also 450. This is also 450 select the column here this time selecting here as 120 here again i am selecting this particular option is 450 here click on ok option 
again i'm selecting the okay option so that it will start designing check for the respected uh detailing process according to your considerations of the values in csi detailing version software so now we can see it was done with all the detailing process so we had to see the results which is comes under the reinforcement values okay due to the presence of the unequal loading distribution the perfect uh, slab designing results are not showing here for the respected slab so in order to see the cage view just we have to click on the rebar cage view option for the respective structure just i'm selecting here so that it will display the complete reinforcement diagram value for the respected slab number six but here in this case due to the presence of the unequal distribution of the forces the reinforcement diagram is not showing perfectly so this is the slab reinforcement design results again in the same process if you want to see the results which is comes under the beam click on the beam detailing concrete beams option elevation section so here in this case just i'm selecting the st uh, story number four so here i'm selecting one beam here okay now we can see this is the reinforcement value which is comes under this particular beam section a section b section c in the same process you can select any one of the beam this is the beam reinforcement in the same process i am selecting the column detailing concrete column one section elevation section select any one of the column just i am selecting cc 17 so click on the a section now we can see this is the complete reinforcement design results which is comes under the column which is at section a section b section c section d section e section f g here okay so if you want to see the results which is comes under the reinforcement cage view you can click on this particular option so that it will load the complete reinforcement cage view for the respected column and section according to consideration now we can see this is the column reinforcement design results according to your uh, dimensions of the column okay so this is the complete process of designing of uh, g plus 5 small structure in uh, terrain category 4 by using etap software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you